Thanks for visiting Hockey Us. The next uh, skill we're going to work on is uh, coming out of a cycle and taking a shot. All right. There's a lot of different ways to do this. Um, and uh, the biggest thing is a lot of guys will hang on to the puck too long and let the goalie get set up before they take their shot. Now, you know, obviously in the perfect world, you want to take a shot from right here, you're more likely to put it in the net, okay? But a lot of times in a game, you don't got that option. And if you wait to, the, to shoot till you're there, you're going to get the shot blocked, a guy's going to hit you or a guy's going to pick you up. Um, so, what you want to, so what you want to do is, you want to start just getting inside the house which is uh, inside the dot in the top of the circle and taking a quick shot because what this will do is a lot of times you'll catch the goalie off guard he's not ready for the shot and he might not be squared up to you exactly and uh, you know not only are you have a higher chance of scoring if you get off a quick snapshot from right here but you have a more you're more likely to get a rebound for somebody coming to the net so what what we can do to practice this is uh, you know get some pucks in the corner get some pucks at the hash marks and this, these pucks in the corner, what we're working on here is we're working on, we just got the puck cycled to us. We're coming out of the cycle, okay? No one's covering us. We slide out of the cycle and we snap the puck off quick, okay? We want to snap it off right between the dot and the top of the circle. A lot of guys, when they come off of a cycle, um, they come in at this angle here. And unless there's a guy wide open back door or something, you know, you're less likely to put the puck in there. You want to come out above where the defensemen are, but below where the guy covering the strong side defenseman is. So if you come out through here, you come out through here. Now, there's a lot of things that can happen. One, this strong side D could get nervous and see you here, slide down and leave his point guy wide open, and you can lay it out to the point guy for a nice shot from the point. The other thing is, this defenseman that's over here on this side of the ice can get mesmerized by you and step up and leave somebody coming out of the corner open for a pass down low and he's coming in there all by himself from the side of the net. But lastly, if no one comes up to you and defends you, you come right out of here and once you get here before guys step up to you while guys are still screening the goalie, you snap off a quick shot and then you follow it for your rebound. So when you're doing this drill, get in the habit of following your shot and stopping at the top of the crease. So I'm gonna do two real quick, a little, a little slow so you can watch and, uh, and you can see what we're doing. You pick a puck up, your head's up, you look at your options, snap, go to the net for the rebound. Then you come back down low, you pick a puck up, you look around, snap, come for your rebound, okay? The second part of this drill that you can do is you're coming off the sidewall. This happens a lot in games, especially on the power plays, okay? You're on the sidewall, you can either have gotten a pass from down low, or have gotten a pass from the point, or a pass from somebody somewhere in the middle of the ice, or the puck just got wrapped around to you. You got the puck here. This is a dangerous place to be in the offensive zone, because if I step off this wall the right way, I put myself in a shooting lane, and I also draw people's attention to me, which could leave guys back door or on the weak side wide open, or guys at the point. So when I do this, I don't want to make a direct angle at the net, because that's going to be easy for the goalie to save, easy for him to carry him in the corner or to, uh, to smother the puck. I want to come above the dot, below the top of the circle. And what this does here is, like I said, with the coming out of the corner, it makes the guy at the point think about coming down to cover me, makes the defenseman think about stepping up and all that's going to do is it's going to leave somebody open in a vulnerable spot okay but if i get inside that dot and have the opportunity to shoot i'm going to take that shot follow my rebound okay and uh and you know good things are going to happen worst case scenario as long as you hit the net the goalie's going to cover it you got an end zone face off so the way you practice this is you're just going to come in shoot stop for your rebound and then you come back and get another puck you can do this on, uh, on open ice, you can do this uh, in warm-ups if your coach just lets you go out and goof around and warm the goalie up. So great drills for goalies and players. So, so watch, you just come out, shoot, and then go to the net and stop in front. Come back, make sure you reset. Now if you have a partner, you can get passes from your partner, whether he's at the point or at the blue line. You can alternate where the passes are coming from, but you come out, shoot, you're there for the rebound. Okay, now, um, now also the big thing is 
you want to get in the habit of following through with your shot and pointing at your target. Um, I didn't follow through with my shot that time, and that's why I'm missing that. So, again, watch. I come up, I follow through, I'm here for the rebound. All right, so you can practice this uh, on open ice, you can practice this before practice, um, or you can, uh, you know, this is a good drill if you're a coach to uh, have your guys do work with your goalie and work with your forward. So, thanks for visiting Hockey Us.